guys, feast your eyes on this classic big bore two stroke straight out of the time machine here at Kaplan Cycles in the New England Motorcycle Museum. I saved the best for last. We had 14 to test ride and I wanted to end the day on this one and uh, it did not disappoint. I've been uh, drooling on this bike since the day I saw it. I bought it from a collector I met in March, uh, Jay. He had a, a collection of 33 bikes that he had posted up for sale and it was a take all deal. He had to buy all of them and it was a lot of money so it limited the uh, uh, you know, the amount of people who could actually pull off a, a project this big, but he had the whole collection of ITs. He had the IT4 125, the 175, which we will be going up on video tonight, the uh, IT250, the IT425, the IT465. He had the whole lineup of, of classic ITs, and this one was. This is like the Bonneville Snowman, the big white 81. They made him this, this color one year. It's absolutely freaking gorgeous. Uh, you can't ride it like a CR500. You don't rev it real high. It's, a, it's more of a torquey enduro motor where you just short shift it and keep it between like 2,000 and 5,000 RPM and it just pulls like a freight train. Um, this one is all the Jay's bike bikes. Only one of the 33 bikes had dented frame rails. All the frame rails, the first thing I checked, look at the bottom side of this motorcycle. This is an off-road enduro bike, guys. The frame rails in the engine cases are mint on this thing. Usually, especially in New England, you just don't see them like that. And it has the original factory, 1981 DOT date-coated mag wheels, uh, I mean, excuse me, um, aluminum wheels. Um, just, just remarkable to have all the original components survive like this, original forks are in mint condition. The bike's been gone right through. Uh, the frame was repainted, the engine was repainted, the carb was rebuilt, the, the cylinder, uh, new piston and rings were installed by Jay. Um, it's got a nice DG pipe on it. It has the original factory silencer. So the engine was gone through, the um, carburetor, the intake, the air filter, the gear loop, and it runs, the spark plug, it runs and rides like a, a new motorcycle. It shifts perfectly, the clutch works beautifully. The uh, front fender is a new front fender. That's the original headlight uh, with a, a new headlight surround. Uh, it has new crossbar pad on the original bars. Uh, Ori grips, uh, new clutch and brake lever. You can see the cables are new. The gas tank is a brand new Clark tank. The original one turned kind of yellow after 41 years having fuel in it. It was a little scratched up. So we got a brand new Clark USA gas tank with the new fuel petcock. This is the original saddle, guys. It's in mint shape. Uh, this is the original tool pouch, and it's in mint shape. Another indicator of a low-hour survivor. We did put a brand new rear fender on it and taillight to match the, the, the color and patina, uh, well, lack of patina on the new front fender, the new number plates, and the new rear fender. So it all matches beautifully. It's a whole new body kit. Uh, the frame is mint. The original cycle parts are mint. It even has the kickstand, which a lot of them are long gone. Has a, the original factory pegs are perfectly straight. And look at the condition of the engine covers and the engine cases and the cylinder. Everything's perfect. The, the, the pipe is uh, completely uh, dent and ding freight there's not a single ding anywhere in this dg pipe it's like it just came out of the box uh there's not a single ding in it and that's a clear coated dg pipe the um original factory yamaha chrisman spark arrestor is intact and it, it keeps it nice and quiet the original air box is mint you can see it has a brand new rear tire on it um and tube it has a brand new sprocket a brand new gold chain and um the bike is in perfect working order it's ready to go um, I really enjoy riding these big bore four strokes. They, they, I was thinking about it. You know, this engine's usually reveling, re, let, let's say an average rev of 4,000 RPM as you ride it between three and five, three and 6,000. If you compare it to a 125 two stroke that's revving at 10, 11,000, that engine's only turning over one third the amount of times. And that's why they, these things last forever. The engines are completely understressed and they've got plenty of torque and horsepower to haul you up the biggest hills. Uh, air forks, uh, long travel, Leading axle front air forks with the um, monoshock rear end on it. The bike handles good. It's a tall, comfortable bike with a big, comfy, cushy seat. And again, it's got the original factory tool pouch on the back here, still in good condition, which is pretty remarkable considering that's 41 years old. So if you're looking for a big more two-stroke to add to your collection, something unique, a unicorn, if you will, because they only made these one year. Uh, well, your ship came in. This thing is a real head turner. It's ready to go to Unadilla to the MX Rewind. You can ride it on the track. You could do the grass track races. You could go to Mid Ohio with this thing. You could, um, you know, ride it on the track or on the trail. It was designed to be a, tra a trail machine. Hence the tuning uh, is uh, 
skews more towards uh, an off-road enduro tuning. And uh, it's a kick-ass piece. Senior, I was just listening to your uh, situation right there, and you just said four-stroke. This is a two-stroke. Two you two know, stroke. guys, we've been filming for, since 7 o'clock this morning. It's 5.50 p.m. without a break. I'm absolutely exhausted. It's like 100 degrees out, so sorry about that. Uh, it has it has a power band, like a, a big bore two stroke, enduro, which is to say it's it's mostly down low and it, it's a joy to ride. That keeps the vibrations down. It doesn't beat you up as much. It keeps it nice and tractable. And it's got that massive uh, Kenda Classic rear tire on it, and it's a 510, huge beefy tire. So I very rarely, if ever, see these bikes at any of the events because it's such a rare piece. Most of them are ridden into the ground. These Enduros are a lot of fun to ride, so they get ridden a lot. To, 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 but when you find a guy like Jay who's got 40 motorcycles and uh, owns a business, they're, they're more or less, uh, you know, artwork in his man room, which is exactly what these were. So anyways, if you're looking for one of the nicest IT465s in the country for sale today, bid high, bid off, and this one's a diamond. Thanks for watching, and God bless America.